Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Hello, hi everybody. So we will start with today's session <coughs> of the QTP. Okay. So let me log in into the QTP. I hope everybody can hear me. Okay, so let me take a blank test. Yes, so what are the programs that we have already discussed? Yesterday we discussed the simple calculator and we got to implement the same thing using the functions, right? So I open the one that we did yesterday. Okay, so anybody who did the assignment of yesterday? Yes, okay. So did it get executed? Okay, anybody had any problem? Implementation of simple calculator using the functions? Yes, if anybody has any problem, let me know. If any kind of assistance that I can provide. Okay then. So we will go to the next. All right. So what did we learn till now? Till now we learned the declaration part and then we learned how to take the input from the user, how to display the output to the user and then we learned the mathematical operations. Right? And um, after that, we learnt the functions and the sub, correct? Now, we got to concentrate on the control statements, okay? So, in the control statements, there are two types. The first one is the branching and then the second one that we have, it is the looping, okay? So, let's try to understand this branching and looping concepts. And in the branching, we are going to learn the different types of if conditions and also the select case. Then in the looping, we will learn do while loop and then the different types of for loops. Okay. So this is what we are going to discuss for today, the control statements, which is the last part of the VB scripting. So let me open a new file for you. Now I will write one simple program to demonstrate the condition that is if condition, okay? And the program is to check whether the number is, whether the number is greater than 50, okay? A simple program. 
So how do we write it? What is the first step that we got to do? Obviously, the declaration is the first step. Correct? Then, we have the second step. What is the second step after the declaration? Take the input from the user. And then in the processing here, we got to do the check if the number is greater than 50. And then finally, we got to display the result. Okay? So this is what we are supposed to do. Let's start with the declaration first. As usual, declaration is done with dim. And then we will declare a number, v number. Means it, it shows that this is a number basically and it is a variable. So I say v number. And now we got to accept the input. How do we accept the input? Using the input box syntax. Input box and then open. Write the prompt over here. Enter the number comma then we have the title number and then we will take some number like 60 okay so this is how we accept the number from the user now we got to check whether the number is greater than 50 it is very simple okay we use the if condition if give the space it will automatically get the entire syntax for you and here, in between this if and then, I got to mention the condition. What is the condition if v number is greater than 50? Then, okay. So, this is the condition basically. So, now if means we are trying to execute a set of statements based on the condition. Means, only if this condition is true, the statements that are existing within this if condition will get executed. Clear everybody? The statements within the if conditions get executed only if this statement is true. Alright? Fine. Now the display we will put it inside the loop only. I will write here message box number is greater than 50. Is it clear everybody? Any doubts in this much? A very simple program, okay? I am just trying to demonstrate to you how do we use the conditions. So, this is a simple if condition wherein we have written a condition over here. If this condition is true, then the statement will get executed. Not a single statement, okay? You can enter any number of statements over here. Clear everybody? Okay. So let's try to execute this. Click on the run button and then click on the OK. So you, do you see that? Enter the number. And we are going to enter 60. Click on OK. It is displaying the message to us. Number is greater than 50. Do you see? Click on OK. Let's execute it again. Okay, I click on run. Execute again. Instead of 60, I enter something like 35, which is less than 50. Click on OK. It did not display any kind of message. It simply came out of the if condition. Is it clear everybody? Only if the condition is true that we have mentioned over here, the statement gets executed. Any doubts in this much? No? Okay, next. I want to extend it further. Okay, what if I enter any number? Yes, Prerna, even though if you enter 50, it will not get executed. Because what is 50? Is it greater than 50? No, it is equal to 50, right? Okay, so now I will extend it further. I will check what happens if the number is less than 50. Okay. Let's write it here. Else. Message box. The number is. Here instead of greater than. I mention less than. Okay. Look at this one. If the number is greater than 50. Then it is going to display a message that it is greater than 50. In case it is not greater than 50. What will it display? It will say that the number is less than 50. Okay. Let's try it out. 
again I click on run click on ok this time let me enter 35 do you see here it is executing line number 13 that the number is less than 50 because since the first condition is false it is entering into the next condition and it is executing that statement okay so what does this mean this means that okay if the condition is true okay I mean whatever condition we have mentioned here if this is true then this statement gets executed if it is false the other part of the condition that is this one will get executed is it clear everybody if it is true then the first statement if it is false then whatever we enter in the else will get executed clear okay now let's extend it further I will execute this one then we'll extend I will enter 50 click on ok so what is this displaying 50 is less than 50 is it true is a 50 less than 50 no then what should it display it equals to 50 now is it possible that you know here we are having only two conditions if it is true the first statement if it is false next statement if we want to check the multiple conditions is it possible yes it is possible okay I want a next statement to be displayed that is equal to 50 and how could we do this we got to have else if else if the V number is less than 50 then only execute that the number is less than 50 otherwise if both the conditions are false then execute that the number is equal to 50 okay number is equal to 50 is it clear everybody so here if the first condition is true then execute the first statement if the next condition is true execute the next statement if both are false execute the third statement is it clear okay fine is it possible that I can extend it further yes you know if you want multiple conditions I can go on writing else if else if and then write the condition okay this is one program I hope you understood how this is going to work all right I will give you next assignment what you got to do is you got to take the input from the user which is between 1 to 7 okay yes you can write as many number of times so let's take the input between 1 to 7 if the user has entered 1 you should display Sunday if the user has displayed 2 you should get Monday and so on okay and if the user enters anything other than 1 to 7 then you should give a message invalid choice can you write a program for this one see if the user has entered 1 okay then you got to show Sunday if the user has entered 2 then you got to show Monday if anything other than these then you got to mention invalid choice try this So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.